Now, here's the beauty of men, okay? Um, the beauty of men is they have really big hearts, really big hearts. I think no matter where a man is right now in his life and his family's relationship, no matter what he's done, no, ma no matter what damage he's caused, no matter what hurt he's endured or he has created from that hurt, I believe men are good. I think all people are good uh, by nature. And men have big hearts, but unfortunately, you're, you've, been, you've been taught to suppress it. And that would be hard on you. Um, that hurt me a lot because I had a big heart and I was this sensitive guy. And, you know, I just, I just wanted to love people. I just wanted to love people. And I, I really do love people. And it took me a long time to muster up the courage to express my love or my heart openly through words, through gestures, through writing. And so I implore you to uh, open your heart. Uh, I remember seeing a movie and it was a, uh, a case for Christ, Lee Strobel. Uh, and he was, uh, I won't get into the movie, but he was basically trying to, he was a reporter, true story, he was trying to prove that, that Christ didn't exist. And um, so he went on this mission and all this research for, uh, for a newspaper and for a book. And um, I remember his wife um, praying to him because he was really lost, you know. He wasn't just lost because of what he was looking for, but um, he, he was lost and she kept praying. She goes, you know, God, please, please soften Lee's heart and renew his mind. And so that's my, my hope tonight is that you will soften your heart and um, you'll renew your mind. Um, men just want to be good and they just want to do good. Now, there's a lot of men out there. There's a good man right there, Corey Payne. Men are good. He's a good man. Um, men, there's a lot of men out there that have done a lot of bad things. Um, I had a lot of men do a lot of bad things to me. Uh, I did a lot of not so nice things as I was growing up and I was trying to figure out what it meant to, to be a real man um, and show up um, the way I wanted to and, and show up so I felt good about uh, myself. But when I hear these men and, and what they've done and the struggles and the stories, my heart goes out to them right away because I thought you, you learn to do that. Now you can't use that as an excuse like I did. Um, you, you, well, you can, but you're just going to become more calloused both in your heart and in your mind. Um, uh, I think men are, are kind. Um, I mean, men just want to be good fathers, uh, good leaders. Um, I was reading, um, I read a daily devotional and the piece of scripture in the devotional today was about um, uh, Jesus talking about um servant leadership and so he would he would wash the feet of his disciples and he was trying to teach his disciples to you know uh as a leader you know wash the feet of your followers and so that the the devotional was about um servant leadership i just love that i thought wow what a what a great concept you know and so i think men just want to be better fathers they want to be better leaders they want to be better husbands they just want to do better and be better and ladies uh, we've, we've got a few questions coming. We'll probably, I mean, I'll address some of the, the ladies' concerns. Um, but I just think that um, uh, you might have a distorted view on men too. It's distorting the view of the men um, in your life. Now, you can, I can see it already. Oh, well, yeah, you don't understand. I mean, I went through this with that. Da, 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 da. Hey, I get it. You, you, we all have a story uh, where we've been hurt and where we have pain and, and your heart might be hardened and calloused or, or scar, you know, scar tissue has grown over it. Um, you might be that way. And, and that's, I hope that you don't live that way. Um, I live that way and, and my heart is softening and my mind is, is opening. And um, I just feel if we can do more of that and we can break down this mistaken identity, whether it, whether it comes to being a man, being a woman, being a father, whatever it is, being great in business, being great in sales, earning money, all these bullshit beliefs that got handed to us. If we could just start asking some freaking questions, go, is this really true? Is this really true? And we don't ask enough questions. We just kind of go with the flow, go with the masses, and we're just trying to get by. Well, I think, I think getting by, 
enough is enough of the getting by thing. And I'm hoping that, you know, maybe I can lock arms with a few men that want to make a difference because I really want to make a difference. And uh, I made my mind up, even leading the show, uh, I was scared, you know, uh, I was scared because there's something on my heart, my mind, and I want to, I want to share it, but I want to say it and do it in the right way. I want you to understand where I'm coming from. And if you don't understand me, then you don't understand me. You don't know me. If you really knew me, you'd know where I'm coming from. And so um, tonight was just to kind of open the door on this conversation. And uh, Tyson, maybe this will be a, I don't know, six-month series or something like that. <laughs>